Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Good morning, and welcome to Half Faith, Let It Begin. Today is Tuesday, March 7th, 2023. You know, during my time off, I had an opportunity to really get myself back engaged with um, my faith, even though it was not tested. I'm going to make sure I want everybody to be aware of that. My faith wasn't tested. Um, it wasn't that I was uh, losing my faith. It was I was a burnt out, completely burnt out. And But one of the things that I learned is that during that time off, I had an opportunity to really engage myself with the Lord and really put my sp- myself in a perspective to say, okay, how do I balance all the things that I'm doing in life at the same time, making the most time for my God. And yes, of course, you can say, well, you do, Angel. You do have faith. Let it begin. That is true. But this, is a, that pro, this program is designed for you, the daily you know, commuter. I had to find something that was really putting myself closest to God as it's ever been. And I'm going to share that with you today. Because Have Faith, Let It Begin, Tuesday edition, starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Ariel, can you say have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. Hi, Noah. Noah! Noah! Noah. Happy birthday, Noah! Get it? Have faith, live again. When it starts right now. Good morning, everyone. Again, welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. As we started in the, in the intro, you know, I, I really wanted to engage um, in, a, in a closer, uh, more tight-knit relationship with God. So how I did that was I started to drive to work in silence. I really wanted to just try my best to hear his words. Sometimes when we drive in silence, we hear God's words. I believe in that. I've, I once told you the story about the gentleman who had his radio broken into, his car broken into, and they stole his radio. It was his favorite radio. It was a chance for him to listen to 660 AM, his sports talk radio. And what he realized is that having his car broken into was the best experience of his life because he drove to work in silence. And when he drove to work in silence, he heard God's word. He heard God tell him, you need to be more in tune with your relationship with your, with your family. You need to spend more time with them. You need to stop engaging in, in all the sports activities that you're doing because you're putting that before your family. And then not too long after, he had already uh, had an appointment set up to have his radio reinstalled. And what he discovered was when he installed the radio, he barely turned it on again. He learned from what he heard, and he just did everything he could to put his family first. What did I hear in those silence? I heard that it was time to put God first, which I always felt like I did, but I really didn't do it at 100%. To put God first, and to put my family first, and to put me first. And that's what I've been doing. Just plugging along and putting my family and myself and God first. And of course, doing all that I can to make sure that as I put on an episode for each and every one of you, that I remember to pray for each and every one of you. And there's so many of you that wrote to me when I had taken the time off. And some of you that wrote to me when I came back officially yesterday on the episode that was pre-recorded on Friday that aired yesterday with Ian Ellie. And, and, you know, thank you to Dylan. Thank you to Melody, to uh, Carol, um, you know, to Brian. Um, and, of course, to, uh, Dr. E, who always stuck by me and said, you know what, what's wrong? Let's talk about it. And um, it helped. And sometimes you don't realize what type of a vessel you are um, or the way that God uses you as an instrument um, until you hear that thank you back. So for all of you that I just mentioned, you 
truly helped me. Uh, you could say to yourself, well, I just texted you. Yeah, those text messages, those video messages really went a long way. So I thank you. So where do we go from here? Well, the episodes continue, of course. We're going to continue on moving forward in the right direction. We're going to continue to share with one another um, our good fortunes, our downfalls, our uh, obstacles. And we're going to conclude today's episode with a prayer. I need two special prayers on my side, if it's okay. I'm going to ask that of you this morning. Uh, My mom happens to be getting back surgery on my birthday, which is Thursday. So I want to definitely keep my mother in prayer. And my daughter, Ariel, who's been struggling at school uh, recently, having a little bit of episodes and temper tantrums. And we want to definitely keep her in our thoughts and prayers. Um, So let's go into our formal prayer and close out today's episode and get ready to count down March 9th as well. (laughs) Hold on. Let's continue to do that. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this morning's episode. We thank you for the ability to come together and we thank you for our friends and family that continue to inspire to be better people, better persons, to be a better light, a better instrument of God and to allow ourselves the ability to open up our ears and open our hearts to receive God's word, his message, his love, his compassion, his ability to shine through us so that we can do everything in our power to try to do one random act of kindness per day and to walk in his path that he's provided for us. We pray for my mother, Lucy. We pray for my daughter, Ariel. We lift up in prayer, Ariel, uh, Noah, my wife, our brothers and sisters, our nieces and nephews, our grandparents, our aunts and uncles, and of course, our parents. We pray for our friends of Half Faith Let It Begin, Friends like Mansa, friends like Yesenia, Sigfredo, Selenia, Chip. We pray for Addison. We lift up in prayer. Melody, good mother, great inspiration, great friend. Pray for Dylan, great colleague, great co-worker, great somebody that I had the privilege of knowing. Keep up the good work, my good friend. To my best friend, Brian, it's never a day where we don't make you know contact with each other and we always listen to our thoughts and you know, I don't know what I'd do without you, buddy. To Dr. E, new friend in my life who continues to inspire me, who challenges me, and has faith in me. God bless you. And to Nick, a colleague at work. Every day I go in, I can't wait to share in devotions. To Pastor Jim, to J- to Joe, all of you have always, always had my back. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. Oh, I've got one more person to thank. To T, Tony. Wow, Tony, always sending me messages every morning at 5 (laughs) a.m. Those messages go a long way. And I'm so blessed and honored to call you my friend. Well, may God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every one of you peace on earth. And never forget, God loves you. God believes in you. God trusts you, and God is never going to leave your side. And have faith, let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 7.30. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts. Because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day. Right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we (laughs) improve. She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day.